I want to say peace out to the Hip Hop Archive. This is Rennie Harris. What's up? What's the significance um, of hip hop in the universities? Or non, I mean, we can critique it. Yeah, no, it is just a big question. You know what I mean? Because it's one of those things where you have students who have no clue. Right. And, then, and we're not involved in it, so it's harder. If, especially for me. And and nowadays not as a full on like for real academic, but you know. Oh, what I mean? my like, students would give you way more respect than they give me. <laughs> well you know uh, what I mean. For like, the record. Way, <laughs> like, well I'm saying in, 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 in regards to finding the actual words to put together to explain to them properly to get to have the information but also to feel something visceral about it. Right. You know, because when you, you know, when you come from it, sometimes it's kind of, you want people to be as passionate about it right. as you are. Or, if, if, or even if you're not from it, but if you, you're passionate, you're passionate, so you, you know, and then sometimes your words just start to flow. Right. And so I see that a lot when I'm teaching, so I'm like, you know, but so I use different methods. Sometimes I perform for my class. That's so tiny. You know what I mean? Or I bring in other performers and have them perform or lecture or talk, that kind of thing, so that they get, get get it different ways versus me just kind of go da 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 because I can give them dates and all kinds of stuff but well that's why you know, I think yeah. that you like having um, you know artists professionals like yourself in the classroom is more important students will actually get more from it mm -hmm. than they would mm -hmm. then I mean not say then but then, or it's at least you know good to partner or whatever because mm -hmm. the, um, the way I'm putting my words together is boring to them right mm -hmm. Or they'll be like, she's killing something that I thought I loved with all these like terms that I can't I look up in the dictionary. We're into dance and hip hop. Well, I think, you know, it's actually the, probably, as far as I'm concerned, the most important of all of it. Because, um, you know, just as a dancer alone, you're, you're a physical historian. You, you retain the information from the past, the present, and the future. And so by the way a person moves, you, you can understand what was going on politically, socially, and economically. Um, through a person's movement, even in their posture, you know. So if you go to, if you look at the way people walked in the 1800s versus the way people walk down the street today, it's two different, you know, modes of um, how you hold your body and why. And most of that's defined by how uh, what was going on politically or, or uh, socially, economically, and what have you. So I think it's the most important of all of it. And in regards to hip hop, um, it confirms one's individuality. Because um, the action is more important than the word for me. The action, the word is it can dissipate at any point in time. Um, action never really dissipates. It, it happens and it, and it makes its mark all the time. Um, as one who teaches courses on hip hop, culture, dance, arts, aesthetic at universities, what is what is your feeling about having hip hop on university campuses? <laughs> Well, you know, my first my first feeling was that um, that we, you know, uh, as participants, um, it's uh, as pioneers, as you know, as creators, needed to be a part of uh, this learning, uh, this um, higher, this institution of higher learning, and um, be a part of teaching what it is that we do or what it is that that everyone is a part of at this point, and the reason being because. Um, one of the biggest fears for me, which may be inevitable in, in, on, in, on some level, um, is that what happened to rock and roll is going to happen to hip hop, and what happened to jazz is going to happen to hip hop, and um, and not just talking about you know the aesthetic, the culture itself as well, but just like in, uh, from a dance perspective, you know, um, in regards to jazz, you have you have Gus Fosse. Um, and Luigi, who they believe is the fathers of jazz, when jazz was way before these cats came, um, um, took it and, and did their own thing. Of course, they deserve their their um, their um, respect for what they've done with it. But clearly, there's a whole other history of jazz dance prior to these guys coming in. So, um, if it's going to change, then I look at it. We need to be a part of that change. We need to be a part of orchestrating how it's being done and how it's. Um, information that's being put out and you know just to, to remind people 
of, about the truth, you know, because you, if you never do go back and um, do the history of rock and roll, the history of jazz, you won't know that it was a black, that it was a black music form right. at all, right. you know. And you, you go back and it was a J, J. Edgar Hoover wrote a, wrote a whole thing to the FBI memo. <laughs> he writes, he says, uh, we have to um, do something about this black music, rock and roll, that's influencing the white American youth. You know, it's in paper in black and white, so as a confirmation that rock and roll was a black form. So that's a paraphrase, but not quite, quite, quite a quote. But um, yeah, so we, that's why I think it's important that we belong in institutions, and, and, and now is the time to do it because we're in a major transition. Yeah. And one more question. Um, mm -hmm. So you've done a lot of work in communities, um, in neighborhoods, what we might say in the streets, working with young people, mm -hmm. um, engaging communities. Um, that's something that's, that, that, that's hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. And so how can we bring, or do you have any ideas about how people bring that to university campuses or bringing, how do we link the two, universities and communities? Um, well, I think I think the university. I mean, I think the the link is already there. The idea of you know lobbying and all these different factions on the universities fighting for this and fighting for that. That's what hip hop is about: individual voice and choice. And I want to wear this today versus I have to wear a Gap or I have to wear a, a other you know other name brand or I just want to make it my own clothes uh, on my own line. You know, so I think the link is. I think the, the link is there. I think what what's important is to, um, again. Uh, for people just to be aware of is um, how I don't know how to say like how uh, uh, the I guess the, the thinking of humans, so to speak, the structure by which we how we think regarding you know all of a sudden things become separated and then people forget the the, the, the beginning of it. So for gap to become gap, there had to be someone sitting in somebody's house somewhere thinking, I'm going to make a come up with this store and it's going to call the gap but I'm going to make this line and so it had to start from somewhere the community and so the idea of this you know um, community being the uh, the nucleus or the the uh, the, um, what's the, 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 the catalyst for this movement you know we have to remember that the community is always engaged and the community is always forever working to, to, to so that these other people come with these ideas and take it to these other places but there's always a connection. If we can remember that there is a connection, there always is a connection, then you know we can um, really begin to accent on it, begin to pull these things out and, and, and showcase when we you know have these relationships the way they should. But most people separate it. All of a sudden, once it goes to this great idea, it becomes high art or high this or whatever versus well, it's just a great idea that someone took and became popular. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's like a hierarchy. Yeah, you know what I mean? So um, if there wasn't these uh, people who just said, forget the society and wouldn't do my thing, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't have um, a lot of the stuff that we have. So I think we just have to remember that, um, that we all start at home first. And if we can keep those linkages, meaning we need to go back home to visit our parents. Ooh. You know what I mean? Our family. And if we can do that, then we can go back and go abroad and, and do all that. The stuff that you know, but the you know the family always stays home. The community is always there. You know, remember that, and I think that's how we make the link. Teach. Yeah. Where can we find you on the web to find out like where when you're rolling through our hoods, so we can come see you. What's the best um, R H P. Oh, can I mean W W W dot R H P M. That stands for uh, Rainy Harris Pure Movement. Uh, R H P M at um, uh, no R H P M dot org. Sorry. So uh, rhpm.org, you hit that uh, website, and we'll be right there. Um, get on our mailing list, get all the information, where we are, what we're doing, that kind of thing. Check us out on our hood. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for, for having me.